I'll say that they were savvy in this particular point because of one specific thing. In that scenario, when we're looking for the Toe Dive, Lung, though. Oh, that hop did not go far enough. Chain goes down. Flandro turns it in. The ultimate down as well. Not enough there. And Yu claims first blood. Yeah, mechanical misplay. The bounce not going over the wall. He's been a lot of four stacks, but Snake are the first ones to break away and gave themselves empty land farm. If Yuppie don't get this, that's trouble. But an ulti lands in for Amy. Massive knock up there for Hart. Jinx oh. ulti in as well. Beast almost dies, but Crystal will get headbutted in and go down. Long's going to chase in onto Beast. That's going to be a kill there as well. Flandre dives in, tries to get a kill, does get one, I believe, as they answer back with Hart going down, but the hook not quite there, and Snake, they save the with Frozen Nellet. Black Cleaver either is Hart. We'll get caught by L in the box, Doesn't actually coming ultimate. through. Teleport's coming through for both us. Flandre diving in aggressive, does get the kill long here a little too late, and Snake, they're just going to take the turret and run. Yeah, I mean, they don't have ultimate on the Alistair. So well communicated once again in terms of timing. Should be a turret going down uncontested. It's in the mid lane, actually. We see a kill. Yeah, punish. Nice 1v1 there. Finally getting a handle on the matchup here. Got the cooldown boots. Here for UP. They've actually played this early game quite well, given the comps that have been taken. Because in the late game, we're expecting Kasten to come up big. Yeah, you can see you actually does get the counter kill against the wall. But they cannot pick up that kill on Crystal. Oh my god, Hart took so much damage from that LeBlanc. Sometimes those chains cross the map. I, I agree, and you can see what happens when they don't have enough as Flandre does get ultied up there. Chompers as well, but Hart going to get hooked in. Punish goes in, takes out Beast. Ella getting low as well, but they're diving everything onto Jinx. Takes her out with the LeBlanc. Flandre is kiting away and somehow escapes, and Crystal life-dealing back up. Still here, you going massive there for the double. Siver cleans out the next kill, and Snake's team fighting still not lost in the offseason. A 4 for 1 win. The unsung hero was Beast, who got a flash on Burrow onto four members, died for the pain, but they used they fought in the backline so smartly. Crystal never under threat with all those items that a hundred of snakes creeps died to UP's turrets, not to any of the champions' kills. You can see the Baron Moon is coming in. You just gonna poke out. Oh. Amy goes down in three spells there That's not the to the funny. LeBlanc. That was so much damage. Ultimate bought by Crystal. Flandre hits a chomper. Ella going in. Flandre by going Skash. in deep. Finds in onto Scatch and Flandre gets headbutted <laughs> away, taking both turrets and still alive. Long tries to go in. Looks for an ult, he doesn't get it. Oh. Ella gets the next one. Punish goes down. Heart dies as well. It's a five for zero for Snake, and that's game. And that extra 100 CS bought them so many tankies. That's Flandre in particular. Disregarded double Nexus turrets for a good 15 seconds. They're going to power down these turrets, and Snake. The new Snake is looking pretty damn great. They are indeed. Not really too far where they left off the last season, perhaps even just a step better, but Snake looking strong in their opening game of the LPL season as you stone